Let's get started by lining a muffin pan with some liners. I used blue polka dotted because I didn't have white. This is for your crumble topping where you basically add everything into a bowl. And then you are just going to rub that in with your fingers. Uh, make sure you wash your hands before you do this. At first the mixture is going to seem really dry, like the butter isn't getting incorporated into the flour. But just keep doing it and eventually you'll have a mixture that resembles coarse breadcrumbs. Keep this mixture refrigerated while you make the batter. The ingredients you need for the muffin batter are walnuts, butter, sugar, eggs, make sure they're room temperature, milk, self-rising cake flour, and apples. The first step is to coarsely chop the walnuts. Once you're done that, wash the apples and peel them with a potato peeler or a knife. And then slice them into chunks or cubes. I can't really describe the size of them, but I hope you can see through the video. Oh, by the way, preheat your oven at this point to 180 degrees Celsius. Now set your cutting board aside and sift the flour into a large bowl. Then add the rest of the ingredients including the sugar, the melted butter, crack in the eggs. This is the first egg and there goes the second one. Then add the milk and simply whisk everything together until it is a smooth batter. Even if you're just mixing everything together, uh, once you bake the muffins, they will still be light, fluffy, and airy. Now fill each muffin cup with half a scoop of batter. After this, we're going to layer everything that we prepared together. Are the apples going in? They are going to be sandwiched between two batters. Scoop the rest of the batter on the top. Then sprinkle on the walnuts. Kind of uh, cover the area of the whole circle and press them in slightly. Finally, top everything off with the crumble. Since the crumble is firm from the refrigeration, you can kind of break them up with your fingers as you sprinkle them on. Put the pan into the oven for 28 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean and the tops are golden brown. Now I am going to cut into this muffin. And here it is. It's the inside. I hope you enjoyed watching this and maybe you can make it.